So what are we doing? We are letting the camera adjust, there we go. We're gonna back the truck up to the garage up there so that we can then work on that piece of pipe up oh, in the back of my truck. So let's see how good I can drive one-handed. That'll be fun. Do I got some truck keys? Truck keys. We have arrived at our destination. Um, I'm gonna change our destination because I don't want to get sparks on my truck. Okay, park off. All right, oh, let's get you guys out of the truck. Oh, hey, you got one of my. Genuine Graco parts to fix my paint sprayer with. We will go over here and figure out why my rear right door is. Hey, that's a weird. Look at that. Truck door's open. Ridiculous. What else we got going on? Oh, I need the phone. Uh, big door. Check that out. Chamberlain MyQ opens my garage door. Pretty awesome. We'll open the little door too. I gotta get the uh, small vice out of there. What are we doing today? We are going to make a safety car bump stop thing um, for my brother's house, his new house. So you can check out some of those videos. We're installing a septic system and temporary power and all that good stuff. He had his final inspection today. They gave him a move in permit. Um, however, he has to go fix a few small things. Uh, one of the things he has to fix is adding a yellow backup barrier in front of his hot water tank, which I will show you later in the video when I go to install it, which will actually be tomorrow. So we're going to get it out of the back of the truck here and get it welded up. plate is going to go right to the bottom of this, four holes, painted yellow, and get uh, installed in front of his water heater. I'm sure some of you out there know this trick, but uh, basically take a piece of paper with a nice straight edge, get that extra out of my way, and you wrap it around a piece of pipe. And you line up that straight edge, like I'm doing right here. Now I've got a straight line all the way around that piece of pipe. So I will take my pin, mark that baby up. Now I've got a straight line to cut to.
man, oh man, do I love that freaking 7018 rod. That is some good stuff. The one thing is I'm gonna practice how I'm gonna burn that thing so I can burn it from this tack around the side and through that tack. go through these holes and into the concrete and this will expand out in the concrete hole. Grab the bolt down nice and secure to the concrete floor. We are ready for paint. So I've got the first coat of paint on. That is going to be the pole that goes in front of my brother's hot water heater inside of his new house. And while that first coat of paint is drying, I, whoo, sun is going down. Look at that bright sun. It's pretty awesome. I like, uh, I like the area we live in. Western Washington's pretty amazing in the summertime. It's an awesome, awesome climate around this place. But I'm wandering down to the house to go get something to eat real quick. We're gonna go inside and see what's for dinner. Well, ate some chicken, had some corn. It was delicious. Now, oh, we need a second coat. This thing, which is still kind of tacky. Oop. Still kind of, still kind of wet. That's a bummer. I really need to put a second coat on this thing tonight before I go to bed. It's already past my bedtime. So, I think we're gonna wing it. I think I'm just gonna run some sandpaper over it and spray some more paint on there. That's it. So, tomorrow I will take that out to my brother's house and we will bolt it to his concrete in front of his hot water tank. Real quickly, so this thing is a three and a half inch pipe, uh, schedule 80, which is pretty thick, could have gone with schedule 40, on a quarter inch piece of plate that is eight by eight. And it is, oh. 42 inches tall, so three and a half feet tall. I believe three feet is the minimum, uh, so I just want a little extra because I don't want to take the time to research it. Um, uh, welded the pipe to the plate with uh, 7018 and burned the holes for the bolts with my oxyacetylene torch. Paint's second coat here is really evening things out. Looking pretty good, to be honest, for what it's going to be used for. If he wants it better than this, he's going to have to do it himself. So we'll let that dry for a little bit while I put everything away. And uh, I'll get it thrown in the back of my truck for tomorrow. So yeah, till tomorrow. <laughs> 